welcome back to Call of Dragons with Genghis. So really, really getting close to being able to do my Citadel 16, Hall of Order 6, 17, actually. So what I meant there was you go through stages where you're a village, a town, city. Now I'm a Citadel looking to get to the next level. I'll actually show you what I mean here. So if we go into info and it names it here. So there you go. I'm a Citadel and I will be until I become a Metropolis, just so there's no confusion there. We have the wall going. So that means the Hall of Order is next, but my resources are pretty low and I wanted to go over one nice quick way to get resources and basically explore. Okay, so I'm going to send out different scouts and I'm going to explore and I'm going to show you the importance of this. I did a video on it uh, whew, a couple of months ago, maybe, but it's a bit different because the season restarted and that means I get to explore everywhere and look at all the map I haven't explored. I've been uh, neglecting this a little bit. Uh, I've been... Uh, since I'm in a new alliance, it's actually, you know, less important, but it's still important too. Um, Got to get to my city here. There's the button. And what I'm going to do now, I'm also going to explore and get resources and try and uh, quicken this up. So I'm not trying to do any uh, PvP or PvE right now. Trying to just do some quick exploring because I got to head out. It is a Canadian Thanksgiving. So got to get... Uh, some food in the stomach there. It's pretty much all our Thanksgiving is all about. Turkey and ham and pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes and all the good stuff. So I'm doing this stuff and now I'm going to go into my messages here. So right, no, that's not it, in our mail. And we're going to go to our reports and we have to get a scout. So right here, village discovered. And now all I got to do is click on one and then it'll give me some information. And yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if there's really a difference, but then it sends me to the next one. Everything that I've discovered while scouting, it just sends me to them. I'm not sure there's really a difference in which one you uh, choose here. You just get rewards. So next one, I'm going to pick an obvious wrong answer. So something where it basically says, sorry, I can't help you. I'm not going to help you. Tell her what you think elves prefer. Try a dumpling. Ask about her dumplings. Okay. People like to know what the other people's opinions. So that would have presumably been the annoying response and they wouldn't have gave me anything. But let's look. Offer to pay him gems for a night's shelter. Politely ask. Smile. Offer to pay gems. Hopefully they didn't actually take any gems. Hopefully they're just nice. But you can see all these extra resources I'm just get collecting here. Ridicule the guard. So this is the type of answer where you would expect you get nothing, but you still get something. So I feel like there is no wrong answer on any of those. There's no way to really double check because it won't, unless it tells you you didn't uh, get something, which is never the case then you'd never know to try something else. And there's no option to say, uh, you wrong answer, try another one. And basically I'm just gonna go one to one here. These all look really low. I'm getting like uh, 7,500. There's 10,000, some treaties, but I can get science. So sometimes it'll just say like, level four archery attack complete or mid range attack. Haven't got any here right now, so it looks like I'm just kind of making it up. But uh, I think in my last video, it actually showed it. So let's keep looking. What's the little guy's name? So we're just getting speed ups and resources. And you could literally do this for like 20. I haven't done it at all since uh, the new uh, season. So I have a lot saved up that I scouted. And you could just see them all everywhere you see just a block in the map. That's uh, my scouts found something. So there, five gems. That's a big one. I know it sounds like nothing, but man, these gems are so hard to get. If you were following me from the start, you would see that uh, I, so that 2,187 red gems in the top right corner, I had 5,000. 
So that's actually 5,187 because I saved up 5,000 for a long time to uh, buy a second builder. So there's 20,000 resources right there. Looking for something big though. Once in a while you get something really big and then it makes all this time worth it. But I really want the science one because uh, I've been neglecting my science. Why? Well, because really saving up trying to do that town hall of order and science takes resources and mana and gold here we go oh, good sweet dew that's a nice one good mana too okay draw from a holy mountain let's see what else we got here so this is actually you know it's one of those mun mundane things in the game sweet dew again nice but uh it's one of those things you actually have to do unless you're going to spend tons of money and i am a 100% free player in this game. I've spent zero. Man, I'm tempted though, because there, because this game actually, I will tell you that uh, it doesn't cost a lot to be good at this game. Other games will run you thousands of dollars a month, and this is a small one. It's like, oh, a new update came. I can pay five dollars to skip the update and be back at full strength. It's uh, kind of worth it and kind of tempting. I used to play other games where it was like that. Basically, you know, slight pay to win and it looks like that's it. So I finished all the villages, wanted to show you guys that. And uh, what I was saying there was I played other games where it was like $50 a month and you'd get all the new updates, you'd be max again and you didn't have to play 24 hours a day. And then I play other games where it's just pay to play and it's thousands of dollars just to play a month and I think you guys know what I'm talking about so anyways let me know what you guys do for cheap resources do you scour the map like I do like subscribe leave a comment